there's a pretty thin line between a beat that is catchy and recognizable compared to a beat that is more forgettable and boring, I guess, and artists will kind of skip it after hearing a few seconds of it. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I cracked the code on this, just being around artists all the time and really caring about this stuff. And I realized that a lot of it has to do with world building and being able to just create a vibe and convey that vibe to the listener just off of rip, just as soon as you can. One great way to do that is to incorporate sound effects into your beats. I don't see a lot of people do this. Good news is I dropped 150 sound sound effects kit. It's like I planned this or something. A link for that in the description below and I'm gonna be using it in this video. You guys are gonna see how I finesse it and freak it, make it all fr freaky deaky and all that good stuff. Get this video to 4,000 likes. I'm gonna send a few commenters my monthly loop roundup that I got that I'm dropping in my Patreon for all my patrons. Link in that in the description below too. But yeah, run this video up. We're gonna go crazy here. So for this video, I'm gonna be sampling Chrono Trigger's original soundtrack. Arguably one of the greatest RPGs ever made. Chrono Trigger was released back in 1995 by Japanese video game development studio Square Enix. You know, uh, the company that's responsible for a tiny series you might have heard of called Final Fantasy. And this game and its soundtrack was literally an all-star mashup of some of the best talents that Japan had to offer back in the day. It included Akira Toriyama. If you guys don't know who that is, that's the person who created Dragon Ball, one of the greatest series of all time. And uh, composers Yasunori uh, Misuda and Nobuo Uematsu. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering those names, but just know I hold these people in the highest regard. They made the beauty and perfection that is the Chrono Trigger soundtrack. The song I'm using is Memories of Green. You can go check it out. But here, here's a little preview. drums I'm kind of just gonna redo right here because I did like a light layer bro just to see if it was actually gonna suck or not and I'm gonna try and recreate this Boring sometimes just doing like that two-step stuff, you know, like you just got to switch it up sometimes, especially if you want your stuff to sound a little more unique and stand out, come up with like some cooler patterns like hi-hats, everything. Just be more experimentative. Experimentat- Experimentative. Bruh. Experiment- Tative. What fucking word is it, bro? Let's move on to the 808s. Let's do like a cool pattern. I'm gonna make this long, like a long pattern. So I'm just gonna actually use it over here to make it a little more unique. Instead of just ending here with the progression, have it go throughout the entire loop. It's a little different, but you gotta do a little different stuff if you want yourself to stand out a little more than other stuff. <laughs> I actually think I'm gonna loop this part of the loop right here. It goes to a different key. I kind of want to just stay where it was because I like the way it was vibing. <laughs> All right, I want to purposely leave this pretty bare with just the clap, the hi-hat, and the 808, and the little sub bass that go comes in right before the 808, just that one little hit. Just to prove a point that we're going to take this over to like the sound effects side and show you guys just how much this is going to be able to transform all your stuff. You really create worlds. As much as this like sample flip and stuff has already just kind of created its really cool vibe in its own little lane, I want to just accentuate that and create even bi a bigger world part of it that an artist can kind of incorporate into their track. So uh, we're going to go into my 2020 to sound effects kit it's free and it's in the link in the description below as i said earlier <laughs> maybe start it off like this watch off rip the beat just to me that just it just became like an eight out of ten now you know what i mean like it just that little thing in my opinion just sets the vibe off rip all right shit storming we are wearing damn desert storm right now desert it doesn't storm it doesn't fucking rain in the desert so yep my brain stopped. We're gonna see how just using sound effects is gonna spice up so much stuff along with just how you arrange the track. As you can see, it's just going the whole time and we're gonna spice that up with the arrangement. I wanna show you guys how you can incorporate sound effects into kind of giving it just its own unique vibe with just minimal sounds to begin with. Like a riser. 
This would be cool just as a little transition sound and uh, this would be the hook right here. All this stuff, don't worry about too much, especially with a track like this. How crazy, like perfect you got the arrangement. Just make sure you got sections of unique stuff going on. So like we'll come here and then. <laughs> Great thing about sound effects is you can use them as transition sounds, you can use them as a way to bridge certain parts, you can even use them as a perk, like the same way you'd use like a perk sound in the middle of like a pattern or something to accent something. There's just a million ways you can utilize sound effects. I'm just going to show you here. This is probably more than what I would normally do on a track, but I just want to kind of give you an example. Like there's endless possibilities. This stuff is so good to use. This is a great kit to use too for you to use in your beats and stuff. And I'm just going to show you, we're just going to come up with a whole bunch of stuff. Just some stuff to give your beats more character and just its own vibe. Let people know it's you that's on the beat without just plastering your tag like all over the beat. Even introduce the, uh, the little sound we had to bring in the beat in the beginning. So it gives that like familiar feel. It just adds like so much more interesting, like actionable things to your beats. I don't even know if that makes sense, goddamn. It just adds so much stuff. When you're looking at it, like in FL Studio, it doesn't look like you're doing much. Like it's only got clap, hi-hat, and 808. But you gotta remember that you're just gotta create a world for the artist to be able to just fill out. So you wanna be the canvas of, I don't know how I would explain this. We'll use our boy Bob Ross here. You know what I'm saying? We got Bob in here and it's to keep the trend going. Like we're gonna have a little bit of like a canvas. You wanna create the canvas and let the artist Bob Ross come in and just paint the rest of the picture for you. Didn't you know? Because it's a collaborative project between you and the artist that you're trying to get on it, unless you're trying to just drop beats, then add as many sounds as you want. But if you want artists to get on your beats, give them something unique to listen to. Sound effects is a great way to do that, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you did uh, enjoy, drop a like, subscribe, give me more ideas for videos. I'm back at the crib. I'm going to be filming all the time. Get the sound effects kit link in below, uh, in, the, in the description below, and also 4,000 likes. Take a bunch of commenters to give my monthly loop roundup of like 40 50 plus loops from my patreon link in that in the description below too peace